Hi, okay, so this is part three in the series. So in part two, I showed you how to create these shapes and how to set them on your page ready for printing to make a template. So I've opened up my template from part two and to save some time, I've added some more shapes just using the same principles that I showed you in part one and part two of this video. What I'm going to show you in this video is how to change the colours of your designs to make them more cohesive and to make them look like proper sticker sheets that you would buy. The first thing I'm going to do is go to a website that I found by doing a Google search. It's called coolers.co. So I'm going to bring this on and the first thing I'm going to do is go to the button that says explore and this will bring me up some colour themes and you can't see them all here at the moment. You can actually filter your search and search by a particular colour or you can just scroll your way through the pages that are on here. So I'm going to type in pink. So this is going to bring up all the themes that have got the pinks in them and corresponding colours. So I'm going to just choose one of the themes and I think I'll go with this one here at the bottom that's got the bright pink, the green, the pale pink and the other pink. And I'm going to choose export and I'm going to save it as an SVG. Now it automatically drops into my downloads folder. You can, yours will probably do the same on Windows or you may get an option where you can choose where to save it. So I'm going to close that down and now I'm going to open my downloads folder and find this SVG here which is this colour theme and just place it on my desktop and it's called palette.svg. You can't see it but it is here. I'm going to right click and choose open with Inkscape and I'm going to open another document with this SVG palette and I'm going to use that. Here it is. I'm going to use this to change this to all these colours. Hopefully it will make sense. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag it out and make it a little bit wider because I want to expose the fill icon. So I'm just going to position it slightly off the page. In fact, I'll do it here for now and then I'll move it off and I'll show you what I'm going to do. So I'm going to open the fill and stroke icon. I'm going to come to the fill. And I'm going to select one of these colours. So I'm going to start with this pink here. And straight away, because I've got the fill tab selected and I've selected this, it gives me its colour code here. So I'm going to highlight that and use Control C on my keyboard and just minimise this out of the way for now. And then I'm going to come back to my design. I'm going to choose my first design which is all a group. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is object and ungroup. And I know it's ungroup because I've got bounding boxes around all the stars and around the individual boxes. I'm going to left click to deselect and I'm just going to left click on the top of this outside rectangle. It's got to be the outside one that's selected. And then I'm going to open the fill box on this page. Then down here in this colour box here, I'm going to highlight and I'm going to go Control V, which will paste that colour from the first page. And that's brought the colour in and it's changed all the ombre effects on it as well. Now I'm going to come back to my other page again, my palette page, and I'm going to do the same. I'm going to select this next box. Highlight this colour, use Control c to copy. I'm just moving it out of the way so you can see better here. I'm going to select this next box, Object, Ungroup, left click to deselect and select the outside rectangle. And then in this colour box, I'm going to do Control v 
to paste that colour in. And I'm just going to keep working my way along and changing these boxes for now. So I'm going to choose the green, highlight the colour here, Control C to copy, choose this one, ungroup it, left click to deselect, just choose the outside box. If you don't choose the big outside rectangle, the one that's the dark colour, the one we started off with, it won't work. Then do in here, you can see I've got the green selected and that's its colour code. Control paste to change it. Come back to this one. Select the dark green. Highlight its colour code. Control C. Come to this plain box. So this is just a plain box of colour. So Control V. That's changed that. And then I'm just going to change the other two. So I'm just going to come back to this colour wheel. And then I think I'll choose, I'll make this a pink. So I'll choose this pink again. Highlight its colour. Control C. Choose this one. You can see I've got the blue one selected. Control V to paste. And I'm just going to change this one. Now I've just noticed that this box here has got a stroke on it so I need to remove the stroke on that because I need it to be a flat colour and so is this one so I'm going to remove the stroke on that one. And this one's the same so I'm just going to remove the stroke. Okay so these now I'm going to change to match these, these colours up here so I can continue swapping from one palette to the other or now I've got most of the colours on here, I should be able to choose a colour and, and put it into here. So if I come to this one, these are all ungrouped, so I'm not moving them. I'm just selecting them. So I just want to select the outside rectangle. And then I want to change this blue background to match. So I'm going to just ungroup this. I'm going to select the blue, select the dropper and click in this top dark pink section and this white box has got to be within the colour and it changes that background colour for me to match. Now I'm going to, you have to do this individually so I'm going to have to left click to deselect the dropper now by choosing this icon. So I'm going to work my way through the colours. So I'm going to come to the next one, Object Ungroup, because this is a group, remember, because I've got a blue box and white letters. I'm going to select the blue, select the dropper, and select up here, and it's changed it to there. Then deselect the dropper by selecting this icon. Do the same thing. Object, Ungroup, choose the drop. Left click on the page to deselect, sorry, choose the blue, use the dropper, pick the green up. Left click to deselect. Okay, so this is how it's looking so far. Just have a few more to do. But you can see it's all starting to match now and it's a, all a colour theme. and then deselect. So you can now see I've got a full sheet of stickers that all match that would look great in any planner. And then obviously I can close this down now. So 
I'm going to close the align box down now and then just to make sure that this all fits on my principal area I'm going to drag an imaginary box around everything and wait for it to select everything because I've got a lot on the page and I'm going to go to object group just going to zoom out a little so you can see better I'm going to grab a rectangle again drag a rectangle out select it make it 8 inches wide by 11.25 high send it to the back or lower it to the bottom using this icon here so I can see everything select both of those come back to my align icons center them horizontally and vertically to each other and then I'm going to do, go to select page and center them horizontally and vertically to the page and click away then I can select the blue rectangle and delete it so I now know that these stickers are all hopefully going to print directly from Inkscape to my printable sticker page so before I do anything I'm going to come to file save as and I'm going to call it part three so I'm just going to highlight the two get rid of it change it to part three put it on my desktop save it as an Inkscape file and save and that's my template in the next video I'm going to show you how to make pattern paper and then in the last video I'm going to show you how you can change these plain squares into the pattern paper that you've made obviously once you get to this stage and you want to print it you'll come to file print and your print dialog box will open this is my printer here and I would just click print and it will print that sticker sheet on my sticker A4 piece of paper that I've loaded into my printer. So I hope you found that helpful. Please give the video a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't already do so and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.